Welcome from Gelato Expert to this Gelato Drop, a series of short videos to answer simple questions or give quick tips about gelato and ice cream. The topic of today is what is a stabilizer for gelato and ice cream? I'm Luca Musolesi, creator of Gelato.expert, and if you are interested in the world of gelato and ice cream, subscribe to the channel and check out the Gelato Expert Academy, of which you can find the link in the description. What is a stabilizer? A stabilizer for gelato is also called neutro or nucleo, and it's a mix of powders that are used in a percentage usually below 1% to improve some properties of our product. But what are the powders inside the stabilizer? In a commercial stabilizer, there can be two or three different categories of ingredients. The first type of ingredients is thickeners, that have the ability to increase viscosity and change other properties of water. The most used are guar gum, locus bingam, gum, santan gum, pectin, sodium alginate, CMC, some types of fibers, and more. Thickeners usually count for 30 to 40% of a stabilizer, or around 0.2% of a gelato mix. The second type of ingredients is emulsifiers. These are commonly present in stabilizer for milk gelato, and they act on the crystallization of fat and then indirectly on the air bubbles distribution. The most used emulsifiers are monoendiglycerides of fatty acids, but also lecithins and esters of sucrose can be used. Emulsifiers usually count for 60-65% of a stabilizer, or around 0.3% of a gelato mix. Most stabilizers contain only thickeners or thickeners and emulsifiers. However, some contain another type of ingredients, which is bulking agents. These ingredients are used to ease the mixing process of emulsifiers and thickeners and have a more homogeneous mix, or they are often used just to reduce the apparent price of the product. In this category, we commonly find dextrose, maltodextrin, glucose syrup, or even starches. The typical usage of a stabilizer that contains only emulsifiers and thickeners is around 0.5%, so 5 grams per kilo of gelato mix while if they contain bulking agents like dextrose, their usage might reach 1-1.5%, so up to 10-15 grams per kilo of gelato. Beware that if you are using 2% or more of a commercial product that is not a stabilizer, but it contains also other ingredients that might be functional to the formulation, but in other ways, and it's generally called base. Now you might ask, why do we need these ingredients in gelato? Can we make gelato without a stabilizer? The answer is, of course, yes, but there are many but. If we make a perfectly balanced recipe of gelato without stabilizers in a modern machine, the result straight out of the machine will be great. However, already after an hour, we will notice that the ice crystals will be bigger, the gelato less creamy and with a colder feeling in the mouth. Then, when we serve it, we will notice that it melts quickly and it drips quite a lot on the hands. And in general, the perceived quality of the product will decrease quite quickly from the moment of production. Well, all these issues are symptoms of the instability of the food system we are dealing with, gelato or ice cream. A stabilizer is therefore made to act against the instability of gelato and reduce all the problems that comes as a consequence improving the overall quality of the gelato and increasing its shelf life. If you are interested in this topic, you can find the most comprehensive course on stabilizer in the Gelato Expert Academy, as always, linked in the description. If you have suggestions for other topics to talk about in this series of short videos, write it down in the comments. Subscribe and stay up to date, and see you in the next video!